Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. In Proverbs 5, Solomon writes these words He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causes shame. The Living Bible says a wise youth makes hay while the sun shines. But what a shame to see a lad who sleeps away his hour of opportunity. A man or a woman who works to add to the family wealth is a blessing to that family. Whether it is a father who works a nine to five at the office, a mother who makes decorative wreaths for sale, a son who mows the lawns in the neighborhood, or a daughter who babysits the neighbor's children. All are contributing, all are wise. On the other hand, the son or daughter who is lazy is a shame to his family. Instead of adding to family resources, he depletes them. The collective wealth of the family is diminished. God looks at his children in much the same way. Jesus told his disciples to go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. He also told them to occupy until he comes. This means we must work at kingdom building. Lazy Christians who are sleeping while the harvest is plenteous are shameful. Do not be counted among the lazy. Let's get to work. Let us pray. Father God, we are thankful for this another day that you have given us. Lord, we are thankful for your bountiful blessings that you bestow, bestow upon us each day. You are Lord God, creator of the universe, and we worship you, Lord, for who you are. We ask that you search our hearts, and if you find anything that is not like you, if you find anything that is displeasing to you, Lord, forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We want to be found worthy to be used by you. Lord, remember the poor, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, the terminally ill, the motherless, and the fatherless. Lord, remember them all. And as we speak and minister to them, Lord, we ask that you let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength, and our Redeemer. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this devotional, please like and subscribe. God bless you.